Okay. Hello, everyone. This is my first ever YouTube or Google slash whatever hangout. So I've never done this before. I know no one's on here yet, but I know it will go up live on YouTube so people can watch it after it completes. So I'll start talking a little bit just while I wait for people to join in. I hope everyone's having a good day. And since this is my first ever live hangout, just want to welcome everyone. So if you have a question and you come on, go ahead and answer it. I will be waiting for her. Hello, somebody joined in. How are you? So I hope everyone's doing well. This is my first ever Google Plus Hangout, and it's my first ever live Hangout. So I hope everyone's doing well. I am going to talk about a few things coming up this summer, one of them being travel. Um, the other, of course, food, because that's what I do, right? So uh, a couple of things I'll get into in more detail, but just to talk about a little bit of the travel coming up. Of course, I'm going to VidCon at the end of this month or only a few weeks away. I think it's like two and a half weeks away from now. I'll be going to VidCon. And I will also be going to Summer in the City, and that is in August, as well as Playlist Live DC, which is in September. So that's just a few of the things in travel-wise that I have coming up. I have a lot of collaborations coming up soon um, with different people from all over the world. So, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Um, if you have questions, go ahead and get them in. I think you can ask from – this is my first time doing this. I think you can – let me see. See if I open this little chat bar. Yeah, that would make sense. And I can see – you can ask questions if you want or comments. If you have anything to say, please do so. Um, I don't. Hey, what's up, Jack? How are you? So, yeah, so um, it's really cool doing this. I've never done this before. Well, I've been on a Google Hangout before, but not one that I hosted. I was on there as a guest. So this is new to me. Um, just trying to figure out things and get things going. But um, yeah, how are you doing, Jack? You doing good? Hope you uh, everything's going well. I know I see some videos popping up sometimes. So um, oh, Melody. Okay, Melody. Thank you. I appreciate that, Melody. It's nice hearing from people who watch my videos, and that's always wonderful. Makes me feel good when people watch stuff that I put out. And of course, like anything, my phone goes off right at the moment that I'm doing a live hangout. Oh well, ignore the phone. <laughs> I will too. But okay, the phone's bothering me. <laughs> oh well. Answer machine will get it soon, so yeah. Ugh. Probably someone selling something anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everyone's doing good. Um, like I said, my travel plans, they are, like I said, the first one coming up is later on this month, and I'll be going to VidCon again. This is my second time going to VidCon. I was at VidCon last year for the first time ever. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. That was the first YouTube event I went to at all. I've never been to a YouTube event before I went to VidCon. And uh, I went there, me and my nephew, he was 17 last year, and that was his first event as well. And he loved it, and he's not even into YouTube. He doesn't even you know, do YouTube at all. Um, he just makes fun of me doing YouTube. <laughs> but, um, but he enjoyed it. He had a great time. But he's 17 years old, and he was in a place with 20,000 teenage girls. So I guess mm, not too bad for him. But anyway, uh, yeah, he had a good time. I had a good time just meeting people, uh, people that I've watched for years and, you know, meeting other people who actually watch my stuff. And it was really nice seeing people who had a common interest. So if you ever get a chance to go to a place, whether it's VidCon or uh, Summer in the City or Playlist Live, it's really nice to go to a place like that because you get to just meet people and just have a good time with people who understand you and understand what you do when you talk to a camera, you know? But um, 
it was really good and that brings me so the end of this month i'll go to vidcon again just like i did last year although my nephew isn't going with me this year but i will be i'm doing good melody um but i will be um going there and i'll be meeting people some people who you guys may know and i won't mention names because i don't know if they announced it on their channels yet but they'll be going to vidcon and hopefully i'll be doing a lot of collaborations while i'm there i have some collaborations planned right before i go to vidcon as well i have one right now as a matter of fact just got this package i'm covering up the address on here this package just arrived from australia so just arrived literally just arrived a half hour before i did this broadcast so i have a package there from australia and i will be doing a collaboration based on that package and i can't wait to do that i can't wait to open it up and see what's in there i kind of know what might be in there but um i don't know exactly and i'm kind of nervous about what's in there so you'll have to wait to see that video and see what is in there and what i have to do with that stuff but I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, like I said, I have that collaboration. I have a collaboration with a family who uh, has family in this area and they're coming up to visit and they're family vloggers and I'm gonna do a collaboration with them in a couple weeks. So I'm excited about that. This will be the first time I ever met them and I watched their stuff for a little while now, uh, six months to a year, I guess. Uh, they have a good channel and they're really good. They whole family, they daily vlog and it's really fun. I don't I think they announced it already on their channel but uh, you'll wait and find out <laughs> but it'll be fun uh, we have a lot of things lined up of what we can do and um, it's it's gonna be a lot of fun if you hear those little chimes and dings that's just notifications from my phone going off um, but yeah it's really great we're gonna have a good time I have those collaborations going on I also have collaborations with people from other parts of the world where Yes, the three B's, you're right. That's who I'm doing that collaboration with in two weeks. Uh, yeah, so Melody just mentioned, is it the three B's? And probably because she probably watches their channel as well. But yes, I'm doing a collaboration with the three B's. They're coming up and we're going to do a couple things, uh, make some stuff and just have a good time, you know? And that's what YouTube's all about. But also, like I said, the other travel part. I will be going to, I don't think I announced this yet on the channel, but a lot of people who watch me closely know this. I'll be going to Summer in the City this August. So this August, I'll be going to Summer in the City. Hey, <laughs> Beast Skater, Beast Skater. Hmm. How you doing, Beast Skater? <laughs> but um, I'll be going to Summer in the City this August. And I'll be meeting up with a lot of friends out there. Um, some of you guys already know who they are because they live in the UK. And um, I just can't wait to meet some of them for the first time ever. Some of them I've seen quite often. And um, I really just can't wait to get over there. This will be my first summer in the city I, I've gone to. I've never been to one. And yeah, I just can't wait to go there and see how different it is from VidCon or Playlist Live. And those of you who watched my videos in April, I went to Playlist Live in Orlando, Florida, and I pretty much daily vlogged during that. I think I had like five videos up of me going to Playlist Live, uh, meeting friends and just having a good time. I try to convey those stories of me going on these travel little adventures um, as a way to kind of like share in case you can't go, that way you can kind of get the experience that we have when we're here and get to do those things and just kind of like bring you along with us. And it really makes me feel good that I can just kind of like put that out there and you guys can see that. And it usually takes me a day or two to get in the rhythm of, of uh, vlogging every day. Um, I got a lot of respect for people who do that on a daily basis every single day. It's a lot of work, um, but it's, it's fun to do. I love travel and I love food. And I think they kind of go hand in hand, both travel and food. So when I get a chance to do a travel vlog, I do it. Um, as always on this channel, I always put a video up on Sundays and it's a food video every Sunday. But I'm gonna do more and more of these videos that aren't necessarily a food video during the week. So if I do a travel video, it'll be sometime during the week. 
maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday, I'll put up a travel video. Or if it's just a food video, it'll go up on Sunday. I'm going to try to do more of those type of things. Um, sometimes they kind of, there might be a food video during the week as well. But, um, <laughs> but I'm just trying to read these comments as I'm going through doing this live hangout. It is a challenge when it's only one person here doing this. Um, I've seen these hangouts and you've had multiple people. They can step up and start talking when the other person's reading the comments. So I'm trying to read the comments as they go. So I'll do my best to try to answer them. Um, you know, I really appreciate them. I love the comments. You know, you have questions asked. I'll try to answer them best I can. Um, yeah, it's really fun. So I can't wait to go over and meet my friends and some of them I've never met before. And I just can't wait to meet these people because they seem amazing. And you know, I talk to a lot of them every day. So that's something I can't wait to do in August. Now also in September is Playlist Live in DC, which is easy for me to go to because I don't need to buy a plane ticket because I live here in the area. So I don't have to travel. It's close by. So that's the easy one for me. I'm going there and um, I just can't wait to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I just, yep, yeah, I will tweet the link, I think. <laughs> I'll try my best. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tweet the link to someone real quick while we, while I'm talking. I'll try. Um, let me tweet, copy, and um, but anyway, yeah, I can't wait to watch and see people in person for the first time ever. That's really going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but I also be, I have a vacation in July, and I will be going to. I don't know where I'll be going. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know where I'm going to be going. I'll be going in July somewhere any suggestions anyone where should i go you know so should, should i go somewhere fun well of course i should go somewhere fun right anyone have a suggestion of where i should go in july for vacation i'd like to go travel somewhere abroad i think but i don't know where i've been watching a lot of people's travel videos and um it is a lot of fun. <laughs> I see you get a lot of good uh, suggestions of places to go. Um, I've been to London four times now, so and I will be going there in August, so no sense of me going there in July, but I'll want to go somewhere in July. I just, where? I don't know. Give me suggestions, people. <laughs> What's the best place for me to go? Yeah, so. And... I don't think I won't go to Australia in July because it'll be too far away for just a week's vacation um, or holiday, <laughs> but uh, it's just too far to travel to go there for um, Cape Town. Cape Town. That's pretty far too, but yeah, that, that's not too bad. That's um, that's interesting. I've never been to Cape. Cape Town. Um, good suggestion. That's interesting. I'll have to look that up and see how far and what's good and fun to do there. I always enjoy when I go travel someplace, I like to not only travel, of course, do the touristy things, but I like to go beyond the touristy stuff and try to just see something that maybe most people don't get to see. Most tourists come in and like if you go to Paris, most tourists come in, you're going to see the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that. But I kind of like to just see the everyday lives of people. New York. Um, yeah, well, I've been to New York quite a few times. Oh, actually, no, only once. Seemed like quite a few times. I used to go to New Jersey a lot, which is sort of the same thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've been to New York once. And I was there for a few days, uh, did the whole, I stayed right there at a hotel right on Times Square. And Paris would be good for your food and drink. Yeah, I, I was in Paris in 2011. So it was part of a two week tour of, of Europe. I went throughout a lot of different places in Europe and uh, What's my favorite food I've made? 
Ooh. Favorite food I've made was, hmm, well, I like any desserts really, but um, as far as a food food, like a cooking food, I love, it's a taco ring. It was one of my early videos, and uh, you have to check it out. It's just like a big ring of croissant, ring-shaped ring thing, and it's a taco ring. And it was actually my mom had made that for us when we were growing up, and I loved it. So I love that, if it's not a dessert, dessert. But um, pretty much... Uh, the one thing I just recently discovered was the uh, grilled cheese with cheese on top of the grilled cheese with bacon and everything. I actually, funny thing, when I filmed that video, I filmed one for the actual cameras and all that stuff. And by the time I got around to taking all the pictures and, you know, I was getting ready to eat it, it wasn't as hot. It was already just lukewarm. It wasn't cold. Uh, it wasn't cold, but, you know, it just wasn't that hot cheese dripping off of it so i ended up making another one right after that so i could eat it hot um that was just for my own enjoyment <laughs> but um where was i i already lost my train of thought <laughs> see this is why i don't do live video very much i like to be able to edit that stuff out but anyway like travel wise yeah i went throughout europe um i went i was in france for two days i believe and I like to see the behind the scenes stuff and go where travelers typically don't go. And oh yeah, I do like the Nutella twist bread as well. Um, so I did, I walked around a bit, just explored, you know, went beyond where the typical person would go. And I just liked doing that, but I wasn't vlogging back then. I wasn't even really doing YouTube videos. I did put YouTube videos up, but they were really just, travel videos of really just my hotel. I didn't know what I was doing. I literally just put up a video, like here's my hotel, and I would take pictures of things, but not really be in the picture myself. And I wouldn't be talking. Um, I've learned a lot since then. And I was always very uh, camera shy to be in front of the camera. I was always the one behind the camera. So this was new for me to get in front of the camera. And even if you look back at my old videos, my old food videos, a lot of them were just my hands. That's all you saw. Uh, you didn't see me in there at all. And it's really come full circle where now I'm in the camera as well as my hands. Uh, it's just things you learn through the years and uh, you get comfortable with it. And, you know, we're all human beings and some people are going to like you, some people are going to hate you. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> you know, don't worry about it. And, um, it's the way you go. Um, that's how it is. So anyway, so if you're always camera shy, just think about that. I was camera shy. Now I care less. I don't care. I get I get tons of hate every day. You don't know. I don't care. <laughs> doesn't matter to me whatsoever. They have no effect on my life whatsoever. But um, I just do what I enjoy doing. That's all that matters to me. But, oh, also, something else coming up, too. Um, I know you guys have heard about it, and I know a couple of you watching right now are getting ready to do one, and that is the Slime Bucket Challenge that um, I have ordered the stuff. I don't know when it's coming because it's probably coming from the U.K. So hopefully it'll be here soon. I ordered it last week, uh, but it was on the weekend, so... Um, Hopefully it'll be here within the next week or so and I'll do the slime bucket challenge and what I am planning on doing is not only did I order enough for me, but I'm going to send some out to people. So if you want to do the slime bucket challenge yourself, I will actually pay for the stuff and have it shipped right to your house. So I'm not going to do it for everyone, but probably like three or four people and I will do it and have it shipped out to their house. So it's just really a fun event, and it's a way to raise money for charity. It, it was a children's uh, fund charity. I don't know the exact name of it offhand, but I will, of course, when I do my video, I'll put it in the link and share more about it and tell you how you can have a chance for me to pay for that, to have it shipped to you, and maybe you can do an ice bucket, or I say ice bucket, a slime bucket challenge. I always wanted to get slimed, but, you know, Growing up on Nickelodeon, we used to watch them get slimed all the time in the TV shows, and we never got slimed ourselves. So I always wanted to do it, and now I'll get my chance, and it raises money for charity, which is a good thing. So I just hope to give back as much as I can. Um, I will be, let's see, what else do we got going on? Uh, like I said, I talked about the travel, um, you know, last month, or 
a month and a half ago at Playlist Live. We have the Playlist Live DC coming up in September. Uh, Sit C, which is Summer in the City, that is in August. I have, oh, who do I like to watch on YouTube? That's a good one. So let me finish off that. So I got August, is Sit C, July, I don't know where I'm going. I need help with that still. Um, in June, of course, uh, later on this month, I'll be at VidCon. Um, who do I like to watch on YouTube? I watch a wide variety of people. I watch everyone from like people who do comedy. I watch people who obviously do food videos. I enjoy watching that as well. Um, and I watch family vloggers. So, and I just watch people in general. If I like the art and I think that what you're doing is, um, how do I say it? Uh, not it's original like your own true self I mean like for instance me doing food I mean there's a lot of people who do food videos it's not original in that sense but how I shoot it or how I edit it hopefully it's different than what you see somewhere else um, but I kind of I love the originality I watch people who are just daily vloggers I watch people who are family vloggers I watch people who just do comedy um, I, I love comedy in general but um, you know, like someone like uh, Ray William Johnson. I love comedy like that. You'll actually be surprised of the things I watch. And if you just follow my Twitter feed, you will see, because when I would like a video, I have it automatically share it on Twitter. Because if I like a video, it just gets shared on Twitter so everyone can see it that, hey, I like this video. You know, you might like it too. Um, I try to do that. I like to support other people. So if I enjoy your video, I'm going to share it and usually make a comment most of the time i make a comment when i watch a video so you can usually look down if you see my comment in their video i liked their video and i usually try to leave something nice to say um if there's anything that i didn't like i didn't go off and say i don't like this that that but if i think it's something that they can approve on i try to help them out and just give you know constructive criticism not all the time it's very rare um, but like some people I will tell, you know, Hey, you know, you might want to look into this. If they don't do it, it's their channel. That's YouTube. It's your chance. You can do whatever you want. If you, you don't have to listen to me, I'm just giving you advice that I think might be helpful for you. Cause I want everyone to succeed, uh, everyone to succeed because it's good for everyone. I want to build a community, you know, not me building it, but all of us can get together and just support one another one way or another and just help out and that's what makes YouTube grow and it makes it more exciting when you get to meet these people at first hand um, and of course you love to watch people you meet in person so once you meet someone in person you're gonna watch their videos quite often because now you have that physical connection with somebody that hey I shook this person's hand or you know whatever and it's really great and you might be surprised at the people you really think you like and turned out you really don't like them. <laughs> but, you know, that's what it is. But um, also, let's see. Oh, just to remind everyone uh, to follow me along. All my social media sites, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or Snapchat or anything else, I am on there as Fun Foods YT. It makes it pretty simple. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Melody. Yes, I noticed that. You're really good at supporting me. Uh, I really appreciate that. And Oh, yes, and also Debs from Debs Web. Yes, thank you, Debs. I'm glad you're watching. You're up pretty late. It's You guys stay up a lot later than we do here, don't you? <laughs> I know I get to bed pretty early, but um, I, you know, I really appreciate it. You guys are pretty cool. He's staying up pretty late, it's almost what eleven o'clock at night there now. Mm. And there she's in England. If anyone's curious, but um, yeah, it's really cool. I love having a community with people from all over the world, and just think, you know, YouTube's only been around I think eleven years now, and eleven years ago we wouldn't be able to do this, and it's pretty interesting to be able to do this and have this connection with somebody from around the world. And in the old days, we had to actually write a, a letter, write a you know handwritten letter, send it out, or you know type it out and send it across you know seas and wait weeks for a return. Now we just push a button on the computer, and instantly it's shared 
you know, halfway around the world. And it's really great. So um, I love it. And if anyone has any questions, I'm not seeing my questions in my Google Plus Hangout, but I'm sure they're probably popping up on my channel if I see that on my YouTube channel for whatever reason. But I'm a rookie at this. There goes my phone again that I will ignore again. It's probably either. For me right now, it's five minutes to six. So it's 5.55 right now. Um, that's what time it is for me. And there's my phone answer machine coming on. Probably one of the uh, pollsters trying to figure out who's voting for who and all that stuff. I don't answer all that stuff. <laughs> I have more important things to do like YouTube. But, um, yeah, so I'm just having a good time putting out videos, and as always, I enjoy hearing the comments. When I put a video out, I love seeing the comments. I, I try to respond to them as quick as I can, and I know everyone's busy this time of year because they either have graduations to go to or they're just getting out of school, getting ready to travel. Um, it's travel season, you know, and... Um, I just can't wait to get traveling myself and get on a plane and you know, I feel more comfortable on a plane. What is up with my phone? <laughs> Why is it the second I go live on video, I get three calls. No one calls all day. I get three calls. <laughs> oh, there goes my rant. Okay. But anyway, I like to keep it fun, clean and just have a good time on YouTube. And I love all your support, everyone. And I hope everyone has a good summer. I'm going to do these hangouts a little more often. I'm going to hope for once a week, but probably it's more like once every other week or so. But I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to head out in a minute and close this out. And I think you can watch the rest of it. If you call, you know, came in late, you can watch the first half of this. Um, I think it comes up automatically on YouTube uh, as soon as I close out. So, as always, you can leave questions in the comment section below. I welcome those questions and comments and everything. Oh, we laughed about the phone ringing. I know. It's like, it's crazy. And I know it's no one important because if it was, they would have called me on my cell phone, not on my home phone. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the funny thing. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a good night. I hope today was good for you, and I hope tomorrow is even better. So I will see you guys soon, and I am out of here. Good night.